All right, all right. Thank you guys for joining us. Let me go ahead and hit this music. For the Monetize with Meta, the podcast. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm going to pull Nicole in so she can go ahead and join on the screen. Hold on one second. And we're going to talk about what, what it really means to be monetized with Meta. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Hey, hi, guys. I can't see everybody, so, I'm, so if you see me looking up, it's because I'm looking on my phone to see you all. Yeah, this is a new system that we're using, so we got to work it all out. Um, but I wanted you guys to be able to understand, oh, I got to move your name tag, too. I got your name tag all down here. This is new, guys. We just no, set this if up. I if I see who I is. <laughs> We guys, guys that are joining us right now, will you just put a, your name into the chat? Let me know that you're here. Who are you so that we can communicate and talk? Um, because we have something special for one lucky viewer. So let me know who you are inside the chat, guys. Just give us a great shout out. I see nine people, 10 people coming in. Say hello. Say hello. And also... If you know someone that would really benefit from this information and the knowledge that we're about to give to you guys, please make sure you tag them in the chat so they can uh, be a part of this as well. Now, hi, Angela. Angela says, I'm here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't see the chat going on. What in the breath of Google Six is happening right now? So if you go, you can go into our group and monitor that chat. I'm monitoring the chat off of my Arts and Styles by Dami page. Um, okay, actually, yeah. If you see this anywhere, you might see it on Arts and Styles by Dami. Welcome to the Nash House, Gaming at the Nash House, Granny Sherry and Grandkids, GM Photography, Dami okay. underscore Nash, G underscore Nash 86. Those are all my pages that I monitor, manage, and um, they have something to do with my brand. I'm Dominique Nash, and go ahead and int introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm introducing you. <laughs> well, guys, listen, I want to introduce you to, and most of you already know her, but I felt really led, and I'm really honored to be able to have this opportunity to introduce Dominique. Listen, guys, Dominique is a meta-certified coach. She has been trained and taught by Meta themselves on how to monetize and how to become a digital content creator the right way, Meta's way, so that we can all begin to become monetized. We can begin to be seen and create this these businesses because we're all entrepreneurs and CEOs. And I am so excited to be able to introduce her and to bring her in. Like I said, most of you guys know her. She's she shares so much information. But right now, I'm gonna I'm introducing the coach, the meta guru, the certified meta coach, Dominique Nash. So everybody give her a round of applause. Woo! And if I had the round of applause thing, I would play it in there, but I don't have it. There you go. Yes. So welcome, Dom. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for hosting this event and being so willing to share all of this beautiful and fabulous information that we're getting ready to receive. So guys, get your notebooks out, get your pens, your stylus, your notepads, all of that stuff and get ready to take some really good notes because this is going to be some powerful information here. <laughs> 
I look, I got my notebook too. Okay. I, um, I want to give a shout out to Nicole Bozeman. Uh, she is one of my moderators and my how to become a digital content creator group. If you guys don't pay attention, the real name of our group is Meta Millionaires. I believe that we all are going to be millionaires using Meta's platforms from the tools that they give. But we're going to get it kicked off with what is Meta? Are you ready? Let's talk. All right. So Meta. Talk in the chat. I'm monitoring it. So I'll be doing some responses and comments. So feel free if you have any questions, put it in there and I'll let Dominique know as we're going through. As we're going through. So Meta is Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. All three or their own platform. I know that we we think of uh, uh, Meta just being some type of company that's come in, but that is the actual name of Facebook. It's not really Facebook anymore. It's Meta. Uh, if you log into your phone and you're trying to get on Facebook, at the bottom of your little, little icon, it's going to be blue and white, and it's going to say Meta. And that's on purpose because Meta has now change their principles they have changed how they actually want us to use their platform now that brings me to my next thing what is the holy trinity now if you don't know and if you have not heard of that term before then i need you to stop what you're doing stop creating stop making reels until you understand what it is that you need the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. We as content creators, as digital creators who want to prosper in this field of creating content need all three. We need Facebook, we need Instagram, and we need WhatsApp to manage our brand, our business. If you say, I don't have no business, I don't have no brand, tell them, Nicole. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> and for once and for only, the only time I'm going to go back and say this, you are your brand and you are your business. You are the CEO of your life and your story is what you are. And, you know, we came on Facebook to share who we are, we want to share a piece of ourselves with everybody else, but why not monetize it? Why not become that person that shares or heals out loud or shares something that is happening in your life that you feel like you are expert in, you're stepping in your zone of genius in this space, and you really are your own CEO. You are, put your name, incorporated. That's, That's cool. what you are. That's you. That is your brand. So when a lot of us are coming into, because we get asked this daily, they come into our group to learn how to get paid for their content. The first thing that we need to find out is what? What do you want to do with your platform? What is your business going to be about? Because that is the most important question that you need to ask yourself before you are just trying to make money. If you don't know the what, then you will not be able to succeed on Meta's platform. If you don't know the why, why are you creating? Why do you want to? Is it just to make a quick buck? Because they're going to try to find any and every way to stop you from doing that. Okay. That can't be it. We have a unique opportunity to create something because with with this job as being a digital content creator you are allowing yourself to be your own brand then you can set up things to be monetized right what does monetization mean Monet monetizational tools means that you get to get money from facebook for people viewing your content right you also, once you get real good at that and you build a following, they will then offer you ads on your reels. 
meaning there's a little ad that pops up at, below whenever you don't use other people's licensed music, whether you're talking, your inspiration, like Nicole. Nicole has her business page, Crystals, Diamonds, and Pearls. Is it Crystal or Crystals? Crystal. With Crystal, no Diamonds, and Pearls. She is a safe space influencer. But in, before she could even start to create content, she had to define what her purpose on this platform is. Then there goes the why. Why do I want to do this? What would benefit this for me, right? If you are spending all this time creating content, editing, because we, we've taught our editing class, learning how to edit, then you need to know why you're doing it. It can't just be, oh, because Facebook offered it to me. No. If your why is not because you want to build a business, then you need to stop. Can I jump in right there? Go ahead. Do it. So let's talk about this why for a moment, because I put a question in, what is your message? And the why is, you know, when we, when Facebook first came on Facebook, first came <laughs> and we all jumped in, we did it because why we wanted to be seen. We wanted to connect with our friends. It's this new platform. Like, oh my God, went from MySpace to now Facebook, and we began to have fun catching up with old high school buddies and old college roommates and, you know, old neighbors that you lost touch with. And it just became this social platform where we just engaged and talked crap and shared all of our videos and our right. movies and our families and our pictures. But what Dominique is sharing with us and what you we all have to realize, and I had to realize it too, was that over the years... Facebook itself as a platform began to change and it began to transform itself. And so when it stepped into this space called Meta now, mm. it's no longer, hey, girl, what's up? Hey. It, all of that is over with now when it comes to Meta. If you really look at your, your timeline now, you don't see, you see those people engaging in sharing like their stories or their personal events, mm -hmm. but you see more of that over on Instagram and now over on TikTok mm -hmm. and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. But you, if you notice, Meta is becoming more business minded. You get more business ads, mm -hmm. you're getting more business engagement. Mm -hmm. um, all of these events are business oriented, you know, mm -hmm. purchase my class here, do this there. And so there's this changing coming in. So when you're talking about why you hear, you're going to have to begin to redefine and or get clarity of purpose. Oh, I love that. I love that one. Get clarity of purpose. Yeah, that's your why. So if you guys got your pen and paper, write that down. I need clarity of purpose. Now, while you're writing that down, if you don't know what your purpose is, it's not the end of the world, but you need to find it so you can build a, a support system. I'm not going to say a following because y'all get that confused. Ooh, we don't want followers. We want supporters. Supporters are the ones who are going to watch everything that you do, whether it's a long form video or short form with reels. They're going to go behind the scenes and watch all your stories. They're going to comment on all of your photos. They are going to make sure that they support you when you are live. That is the difference between followers and supporters. Followers will engage. They will engage with you. They will have dialogue with you. Like... I mean, I'm sorry, your supporters would do that. Like you guys that are making comments, you are supporters. You're not just following along. Um, uh, and that's a whole nother session, a whole nother class. <laughs> we'll, talk about, we'll talk about later because we, are, geez, we get on that tangent. <laughs> we hear all day about the followers and supporters. But it's very important that you that you understand that. Now, also, we all, all do it. We're all guilty of it. And I think it became a culture 
um, when Facebook wasn't allowing us to the opportunity to monetize, we have become watchers, lurkers. That's what I call it, lurkers. We will watch people's stuff, look at it, and be like, mm, what was she doing, and keep scrolling. But my thing is, if you are in this business to really get to be known, to be seen, get your brand uh, visible, then why aren't you social on social media? Now, that's a hot topic. Why aren't we social on social media anymore? Uh, Angela got a question. She says, so do we do the real on Instagram and share to Facebook or vice versa? You can do both ways as long as you have it enabled. Uh, but that's that's a whole nother segment because a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people don't even have their Instagram set up and they're wondering, well, how come don't nobody really know that I'm over here? Uh, you have to make yourself more visible with the Holy Trinity. And if you are not uh, setting up a separate presence, meaning a business page, and you only want to do this from your profile, I will tell you this now from personal experience, it's not going to be what you hope. And that's because profiles, even in professional mode, right? They still are meant to be for family and friends. They're not meant to be worked like a business page is. And when you have a business page, it will show you what you're doing wrong on your profile. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds really like, oh my God, there's so much is so much. But I want you all to think of it in this capacity. If you want to be monetized, right? That means you want somebody to invest money into you. So what am I investing in? Because I'm not going to invest in you just posting up pictures and videos and look at me. Am I cute? Da, da, da. Oh, that's cute. And that's, that's nice. But when it comes to business, when it comes to monetizing, what are you selling? What are you offering? What service? What product? Um, I am a life coach. So that's what I'm offering. I'm offering my support. I'm offering my, my, my certified um, tools and resources to help you become the best version of you. You know, right. um, I see people under that do paparazzi, if you're mm -hmm. doing Avon or if you're doing a $5 jewelry. So whatever it is, your wigs, your nail line, whatever it is, Amazon shops, that's, that's what's going to be your business. And that's, that's right. where the monetization uh, content can come in, but you have to give them something to invest into. If I have nothing to hold on to and invest into, I'm not going to invest in you. Okay. Angela has another question. Yes, darling. She said, but I thought they said if we have the Instagram showing on our reel is shared to Facebook, then it won't get paid. So there's a difference, Angela, between sharing across profiles and account settings. Um, when you upload content, it does not show Instagram logos. But if you download that reel from Instagram and then you upload it on Facebook, it's going to have Instagram logo on it. So we cannot qualify for any type of payment in the Reels Play program with any other website logo on the videos. So there's a difference. You're, you're confusing the two. And I think a lot of people are. It's not just you. When you go into account settings, whether you're on Facebook or on Instagram, once you get into your account settings, there is an option that says sharing across profiles. Not everybody has this option, do they, Nicole? And that's the key that people that listen, you guys, ding, 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 ding. Did you hear what she just said? Not everybody has that option. And that's the thing that you have to realize that even though you may have your profile and your business page, you still may not have the option yet to share across both platforms. 
And that is very true because I just learned that myself. So be mindful when you start seeing that. I don't want you to freak out like, oh my God, what is she talking about? I don't get it. <laughs> just realize you just may not at this time have been active enough for Meta to kick in and say, uh oh, wait, they're being, they're trying to be professional. They have this professional platform, this professional page. Let's uh, give them access to cross posts against it between Instagram and Facebook. So please be mindful, family, when you're looking at that. If that's not happening to you, it's simply because you don't have the option yet to do it and you haven't been invited to do it. Right. Now, when it comes to different features, like um, I think I showed you when you came to St. Louis, Nicole, I showed you the Facebook camera that I have. Yes, got the thing on Facebook camera, man. It's the bomb.com, and guess who don't have it? I don't, and I'm mad. Mm. So I really got that camera by using stories. If you guys ever uh, go through stories, if you swipe enough and you view enough stories, it'll tell you, share a story for behind the scenes for your audience. That is the purpose of stories. It's to get people excited when to follow whatever you're doing so then once they're done with the stories then they can go to look and see if you have any long form videos which is just regular video uploads we still need those guys i know y'all focus on reels but once they get done watching a reel it would be nice to keep their attention with a longer form video and i mean 10 to 15 minutes worth so of now footage. let's do this let's do this let's let's break this up for them so that they, so that it doesn't sit, so they can realize there's two separate things you're talking about. So she gave you the, the, the Holy Trinity, right? Mm -hmm. You guys now understand, I want you all to put it in a comment. If you know what that Holy Trinity is, write it in the comment for us. Cause we want to make sure that you're getting this information. And she said that was Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, the app. Now she's going to talk to you about these tools these seven meta tools that every entrepreneur needs to use in order to become seen and monetized. And she started with sharing with those. And so I think now she can really kind of go into the, I think Dom, now it'd be a good time to go into that. Sure, 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 sure. So, so they, they can, can understand what it is. I right. got you. Yep. So I know we all are so focused on reels, but in order to really, maximize your views on this platform we need to type up still regular posts that's one we still need to share photos that's two you need to do stories that's three because that's behind the scenes remember of your day then you need the reels that's four you still need long form videos that's five you need to go live that's six and the icing on the cake you still got to be active in Messenger. <laughs> I know. Oh, I bet y'all didn't know that. Messenger part, Lord help. I'm, I'm working on it, fam. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got a question from Rebecca. Let me read it. Yes, Hold on a second. She said, also, some of the audios won't let you share it across platforms. If you use someone else's audio, it sometimes is not available to cross post. That yes. is true. Because the one thing that I love about Meta is they protect creators. Artists. You cannot steal a sound. Once it has been uh, solidified by that creator, you can use it, especially on Instagram. You can use it, but it has to stay on Instagram. It cannot that go over the Facebook. True. And, yeah. I, and I realized that myself personally trying to do just that um, Rebecca, I tried to do the exact same thing. Like I had the bomb song with the bomb post and I was like, yo, this is it. And I'm going to download it. And I'm going to share it. And it was like, oh, you can download it, but uh, no audio. No, no audio. audio. It's going to tell you because it's trying to protect the creators. Yeah. Yeah. And so now it's, it, it, and so not, so that's the other dynamic you have to realize too. And you know, we have to understand that when we do these amazing reels and we want to share them across the platforms, you also have to understand the business side of this is that there are going to be those audios where you can't do it. And so you have to go into your Instagram page and do your reel there and have fun there. 
and then you have to come over into Facebook and you can do a similar reel, but you're going to have to find different music, a different audio. That's right. Yeah. So don't allow that to discourage you. Mm -mm. Don't allow that. So Angela had another question. She says, should we be doing reels on our profiles or on our pages? I do reels for all. I do original content for all of my business pages and my profile. Mm -hmm. But before I do it, I'm just going to tell you my steps because that's all I can do. I can only give you my perspective. In the morning, I'm not rushing to do a reel because I know people are trying to get their kids together. They're trying to get themselves together. They're not woke yet. They still need 15 cups of coffee. I'm one of them people. Okay. So what I'll do, I might type up a good morning post or something that I know would resonate with someone, just a regular post, right? I don't comment back right away on that post when people are commenting because the more that you stay away from it, the more it's going to push it out to get more views. So I let it get about 10 comments. Then I go and I start to upload something into my stories. Me walking the kids to the car, we having fun, things like that. And then I might go ahead once I get back home and get settled. I know that people are settled at work. So let me create a reel based off of all the, the information that they saw that morning. They saw stuff in my stories mm -hmm. with my family. I might even do an extra story just to prepare them for what I'm gonna do a real on, which we did this morning. Um, uh, I, I told him I didn't want no more kids and he said, no, me either. And he was acting like Seth Rollins because we're wrestling fans. And I was like, okay, cool. So we did a reel about not having any type of privacy as mom and dad. And the kids are always around. It has to make sense. It tells the story. You're storytellers. So tell the story. The, the next thing that I'm going to do is going to have something to do with, oh, I can't do something because my kids, because that's what I started the topic on. Uh, you, have to, you have to build the presence of the environment of what you want. And then now they're going to know it's dinner time. So I'm going to direct them to go over to Welcome to the Nash House where I normally cook. It's all about making the flow of things. Prioritize and strategize. We can't just do it by the wits of our pants anymore. That does not work because people see the chaos. I know it looks fun that you saw your favorite creator on TikTok doing random stuff, but it's very hard to follow when you come over to Meta's platform because Meta is about building a relationship with your audience. It's not so much about random things and videos. And if I can jump in with that one, mm -hmm. you know, we talked about the followers versus supporters thing. TikTok, you deal with the followers. Meta, you're looking for your supporters and those engagers. Two totally different audience. I like that. Two totally different type of content. So I, I like TikTok to just be the fun, cool, sexy girl, you know, just let your hair down, do whatever you want to do on TikTok. Be like, yeah you know, and show yourself as yourself there. But when you come to Meta, I want you to come to Meta as if you're coming into the office. Oh, I like that. that. I come like that. Meta. Yes. You came, came to, to work, Meta. baby. Exactly. You're coming to work when you're stepping into Meta. That's right. And that's and you're and and when you come to work, you're coming in as the boss. That's the right. The manager. So you're coming in with this mindset of now it's time to do business. Now I got to make sure everybody got what they need and I'm getting my message out and I'm getting my product out or I'm getting my service out and your, your, your content and, and how you're presenting yourself is more professional, more put together, more like, I'm going to need y'all to understand this. Even if it's just, like I said, Dominique showing her, showing herself walking her kids, there is a method to that man. It's the reason why she's doing that because she's about welcome to the Nash house. Well, guess that's what it's about. Her family. So I'm it makes sense. I'm, in some pros. I'm about health and wellness and your emotional mental space. So guess what my posts are going to be about? Taking, getting rid of toxic relationships, letting go of energy vampires, saying yes to yourself, doing self-care, self-love, healing inside. 
and all my posts and all my reels and all my lives and all my stories are going to be based when I come into the office about getting that message out. Oh, I love it. I love it. Don't you, didn't you feel the passion behind that? That's the thing. We are all, and I'm, I'm watching, I watch reels like all the time because of all my groups. If you, uh, if you don't know, then I have a whole bunch of groups, but one group in particular that is a teaching group to do what I do. But what I see is I see the chaos in the work. If I can see it and I am a trained eye, what do you think that an untrained eye, they're going to be like, what do they do? Huh? Scroll. Exactly. Because people are used to being, they're used to being lurkers, you know? So that's why you see that you got 500 views, but two reactions. That's because they're so used to lurking, right? Mm -hmm. But if they see you one day, they see you, I'll just give you an example. They see you in five minutes, you just uploaded a reel that you cooked some chili. Then, then two sec, two seconds later, you didn't even let that breathe. Two seconds later, now you want to talk about how drunk you is. That is so hard to follow. Well, damn, if you cooking chili and you got drunk that fast, God damn! I'm just saying, was you drunk while you was cooking the chili? Are you saying something? <laughs> that is so hard to follow. But I see it, it all the time. Or you sitting there, and you're using a trend in audio that you heard from a place like TikTok but you are just sitting there you're not actually making it go with the type of content your purpose there is a way to do trends with your purpose you have to get creative right but it don't make sense to just look at the camera and you like this wait i gotta see what you're doing um hold on how come i don't see you no more oh you, what's happening you don't see me oh wait hold on do y'all see us they may see you, but I'm in, I'm trying to look into the live and I don't see you no more. Oh, no. Log out of the live and then try to go back into it. Sometimes that'll happen. Um, but it's very difficult for a person to follow along with what you got going on when there's when it looks like chaos. You know, I know mm -hmm. that that's how that platform runs things. But you got to remember that platform is for fun. It's really just a fun place that people can copy and use people's sounds and stuff like that. We can use people's sounds on here, but the difference is, is that no one can steal your sound from you. Mm, not so much protection over there, okay? Remember that. Uh, Angela said, I like your microphone. Where did you get it, Dominique? Oh, Amazon, love Amazon. Uh, after we get done, I'll I'll make sure that I put the link up in the, uh, in the comments of, of the microphone. Uh, I know the microphone sexy as heck. And you know what, here, and, and let's go back to what Dominique just shared with you all. And if you heard what she was saying and listening to what she was saying, she was talking about your what. Mm. What is your message? That's why answering that question is so important because it would get you out of this disconnect in your content when you understand what your message is right mm. so it's really important to be able to define what it is that you want to say and that's going to be critical in order to be successful and in, in, in this platform we're calling meta and to become these meta millionaires and before we even talk about being a millionaire part let's learn about being digital content creators and having that voice and that consistent message. What you do over TikTok is that's your pleasure. When you come over to Meta, you at, your you at work, baby. You're at work. And it's time to put that work in. Like you go into the office and put your nine to five in, give yourself at least a good two hours, mm -hmm. 120 minutes invested in your work here on this platform we call Meta. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's. Now that's some meat with the potatoes right there. That's some meat with the potatoes. You got to put in the work. Like I literally, if I do, I haven't been able to be on TikTok because I've been really organizing and strategizing what I really want to do with all of my different platforms on Meta. And when I do get a chance to go over to TikTok, it's very fun to be able to express myself without confusing my audience because Let's just be honest. 
that follower count and versus who you actually communicate with or see your content is completely different over there. Same way over here. But the great thing about it is that at least if they go to your page, which they should, if they truly support you, which they should, they're going to follow everything that you do. That's what a true supporter is. Mm -hmm. If you're saying, hey, guys, I just launched my YouTube channel, they're going to go over and support your YouTube channel. That's the type of environment when you come to work here for Meta. That's monetizing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. And that's what it feels. And yeah, and I, and I know a lot of people feel like they don't have time, which is why we want to do another class talking about creating your content calendar and what that looks like and why that's so important. You know, um, and it's going to be valuable information and resource. And that's another class we'll talk about later on. But, you know, I it's just really, really important because, again, Dominique's desire and what Meta wants from us. Because we want to get monetized by them, but they are requiring some things from us, some things that we need to do, and it's to really get into that business CEO mindset Ooh. and thought process. Mm. And when you are creating and thinking about content and showing up on Meta, remember the Holy Trinity. And again, I want you guys to put it in the chat. If you know what that Holy Trinity is, write it out there. Let us know that you understand that because that's going to be critical to understand that when you come to work, you have to come with that CEO mindset and invest in you so that Meta can see the value of who you are and they will invest in you also. Oh, I love it. I love it. Didn't y'all feel the power behind it? Like, do you not feel powerful knowing that you can come to work at Meta and they want you to be the boss? Yeah. They want you to be the boss. Ain't that what we all want? Like, I, I know I got in this because I've always had the entrepreneur bone. That's just who I am. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to ask yourself, is that what I want? If that doesn't Ooh. sound like that aligns with what you want, then why are you constantly doing reels? Why are you complaining when your views are low? It sounds like that's what you want. You got you to gotta get that together. What do you really want? Right. Once you find out what it is that you want, then you can find out why you want it. And then lastly, you can figure out how you're going to do it. Yeah. How are you going to do it? Your how. Mm. Now, any this any other thoughts you got, Nicole? I know you wanted to ask some people some questions. What questions did you have for them? I, you know, I think the, the biggest question I have is about the what and why. Mm -hmm. Because until they can answer that, how they get it done, it's not, it's not going to work. If you're on here because you just want to be... Um, a social media influencer. You just want to be the one that you wear the pretty outfits. You get cute. You're like, look and see what I got on. Bam, 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 bam. That's great. Do you, boo? Do you? And see, I think what's happening is that a lot of people are seeing that in the reels and you're seeing them with, you know, 100K followers or, you know, all these views, all these stars. And think that that's the way to go. But if you're in this group, if you're on this live, if you're in this session right now, that's not who you are. And that's not who you want to be. You, beloveds, are CEOs. You are business individuals. You are entrepreneurs. That part. And so it's time to take on this entrepreneur swag and energy and vibe and thought process. And it is going to require you to do some work. It is. There are days, I'm a flight attendant, guys. Trust me when I tell you, there are days where I don't want to. But what I'm realizing is that, like Dominique said, is that there's when I put my post up, I have to give it room to breathe mm -hmm. and allow it to do what it's going to do. But I'm learning to be consistent in my message. And so I'm now starting to see the uptick and myself leveling up 
not necessarily in all the followers and all that stuff, but I'm watching Meta push my product out. And people who I'm not even connected to, don't even know where they, who they were, are starting to just, eat, if nothing else, like it, which means you're looking at it. And that's what I want, because now you're going to get curious. And I want you to have that Nicodemus that's spirit. That's right. That's behind right. behind the scenes, be like, oh, let me see who she is. And, you know, you want to scroll by all means, please. And thank you. That's what I need you to do. <laughs> Take a look. Take a look. Read a book. Oh, hey. uh, reading rainbow. Sorry, guys. Uh, squirrel. Okay. <laughs> but the object of it, uh, I really wanted you guys to feel more empowered than defeated. I'm seeing yeah. constantly people are coming to me. They're booking appointments. I own, I'm only one person, y'all. I can only really take two appointments a day because I still got to manage all my stuff and make content. So I get it. I hear y'all. Y'all are restricted. Y'all not earning as much as you were before. Y'all don't have any idea what's going on, especially us legacy creators. I'm a legacy creator because I was I was the one that was trying to do the job. Okay. So I see it. I see the frustration. I see people quitting. But for me, I can't quit. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay. Because I have this discernment in me that I know that I want to succeed and everything that has been successful in life was not built overnight. Including this. Including you know I mean? this. You can't come over here and expect to be like, boom, bam, bam. Yeah, that part. You know what I mean? Like, but I, I love, I love the fact that in my how I'm learning to turn my passion into my purpose, which is going to give me this income or the ability to make this income because what it's going to do is I'm not necessarily for me in particular, and most of us that are selling products or offering products or services, this is the platform to get your clients. Oh, that and part. Customers. And if you go inside a store, you don't see them cutting up. Uh, Walmart has a consistent message. Target has a consistent message. Chick Fil A has a consistent message. They McDonald's never open on Sunday. Consistent message, and so we don't look for them to cut up. We have we said yes to what they were saying, and we went to them. And so it's so it's learning to again get into that what and that why. What is your message and why are you here? Why do you want to do this? And when you answer those two questions, you're going to begin to be able to turn that passion into your purpose and create the kind of content that's going to draw in your customer base, your clientele, and those individuals who are going to support you and engage with you. I like that. I like that. Now I got to tell you what my little cousin, she wanted to uh, be uh, in the Reels Play program when they, it took a while for them to offer the invitation. She is on here. Hey, Brittany, thank you for joining us. I'm so happy that you're finally monetized. I'm proud of you. You keep going and make sure you check out the replay. Okay, babe. I wanted to give her a shout out because she's doing amazing. Um, yes. But with all that being said, if you are not willing to put in the work if you're not willing to really be your brand because if you don't sell products that's cool i don't sell products i sell my service right i'm here to help people understand what monetization is how to achieve it and guide you along so you can grow like i'm growing i'm not holding back any secrets i give it away because they gave it to me i signed up for it I sit, I spent six months studying under meta professionals. I did that. I, I did the work so y'all don't have to. And then I also provide guides inside of our group, how to become a digital content creator and get paid for your content. There is a guide of how, of WhatsApp being a platform. I didn't even think it was a platform. I thought it was just another app that we needed. That you can call people on when, it, when they're out of the country. That's what I thought it was. It's an actual platform. So oh, really? if you have the desire, um, like I'm going to use Nicole for an example. What if she is able to bring more people in to become 
safe space influencers. She trains you to do exactly what it is that she does. And now she has employees, right? If she wanted to use WhatsApp, the platform, then all of them would be able to use the same code and number that Nicole assigns them through WhatsApp to communicate with potential clients who would like to be trained to be safe space influencers too. You see that? Didn't even know that. I had to study that. Hello. And I, I have four food. children. I'm always busy. This is why I thought, this is why this is so important. This is why I want you all to understand. I introduced her the way that I did because it's because, you know, let's be truthful and honest and we're vulnerable. We are here and we're seeing on our timelines, all of that promote here. You need 100 K followers, follow for follow, share your stuff. I follow you and all of that crap. And I'm telling you, it is so harmful in a bad business practices and habits um, to understand what's happening and really to be that non-restricted <laughs> get out of jail and stay out of jail stay out of um, jail. content creator which is I, that's me <laughs> i'm just saying i do got listen i i put my little jail tattoo mark up here like yeah i was in people jail. Like, what? she just okay. got out of y'all she out the, out the i literally team. just got out too guys no no kidding it's been maybe a week now that i've been out but it's and welcome important. back yeah thank you it's important though guys to understand that Dominique trained with the very people we're trying to tell them, hey guys, um, so Meta, uh, so I got these wheels over here and I'm going to need you to look at them and uh, put me in that bonus and start playing and like kick over my money. I gotta have my money. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. But she has trained with them. And they have given her all of this information, all these tools and resources that will allow us to know what their rules and their requirements are so that we can really begin to show up and be these content creators so that we can actually really become meta millionaires. Come on now. Necessarily from meta, quote unquote, paying us. It's the fact that we're so needed and desire and our products and our service are wanted that our customers and our clients are paying us. Those supporters? Yeah. I love that because once once you break it down and dissect it, all it takes is for you to train your brain to understand that this is not no fly by hustle. Oh I had a, a, a young man uh, that he does food content like I do on Welcome to the Nash House. And I asked him, I said, so how is everything going for you? Have you started your YouTube channel? He said, things ain't going too great. Ain't, what is 20 cent per thousand view? You could just be making content and not get paid for it. I just wanted to say that, but you know, it takes to train your brain to think about that because all of us have gotten in the habit of looking at the like count. The like count means nothing. You understand? It means nothing. It just means that people hit a, a reaction. That, that's about it. But when they get offended when they don't get all these likes. And so then you go and put more and more and more up. And and when you're sharing like that, um, Dominique, doesn't it, it cause more harm than good? It really does. I had I put out a, a reel yesterday to show people like my arts and styles by Dami was the first page that I created. It was really for hair. I was a cosmetologist licensed. And back then, you had to pay to be visible on a business page. I mean, I had to, I would have had to give them a good $150 just to get a blue check mark, right? I didn't have that, right? So what I did, I would forget about that page. Now that it's monetized, I upload a reel through Instagram. It shares automatically over to Facebook. And then I'm I'm in the group on my profile, on Dominique Nash. I didn't forget about it. I go back over. I'm at 5.5K views. Guess how many reactions I got? Two. Guess how many comments I got? None. Guess how many people shared it? Zero. Do y'all get it now? All the people that I constantly see, y'all y'all don't even know that I'm over these groups that y'all are part of. Y'all have no idea. I see y'all dumping all the time. 
dumping stuff that doesn't even have anything to do with the, the community. If you want to share, now get this, if you really want to share with that community, you can share the real, just make sure that it has something to do with it. And don't just share it in there and say like, share, and comment. What? A community is where you can build connections but you have to actually be willing to be a part of the community. And I mean, not always looking for support, but be a supporter. Ain't that right, Nicole? Absolutely. Absolutely. It goes both ways, you know, and um, I don't want you all to be intimidated by mm. this information. I want you to take a moment once we're done to just allow it to integrate. Make sure that you're taking notes and just kind of take a step back, you know, for one second and allow yourself to begin to reevaluate your business. If you had a brick and mortar business, and again, it's easy to be, you know, a, a online so um, entrepreneur and open up an Amazon store and everybody mm -hmm. talks about that. And it's, it's just kind of been a craze and that's great. Whatever it is that is that is your service or your product or your platform, you know, take this moment to really just kind of step back and allow yourself to just kind of reevaluate and and write it out, write your vision and make it plain. Mm. It's okay, you know, it's it's actually necessary and it's good. We're coming into what well, our society is shifting and changing how we are doing commerce one with another. And if you notice, everything is becoming contactless. Oh, I know. I've, I've seen that. Like the lady told me that I had some great dedication because my cash app cord wasn't uh, touchless. I said, well, it ain't broken. So why fix it? So, <laughs> yeah, you know, and so it's, it's how do you take this new mindset of shopping and create, and listen, you can, order your food from Walmart and all you got to do is go drive up there and go pick it up and then put it in your car. Oh, that part. Or they can deliver it to your house. Or they can deliver it to your house. Mm. You know, DoorDash and, and all these different services right now. So it's really allowing yourself to be a little uncomfortable in transforming your mindset and your thought process and your belief system when it comes up to being an entrepreneur and having an online presence. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay to have your fun side. That's great. We're not saying don't do that, honey. Create another page and do you go buck wild if you want hey, to. Hey, you know what? You can do that because they give you the freedom to. They do not cap how many pages you start. See? You know, and it sounds like, oh my God, another page. Oh my God, another page. Listen, Dominique just gave me another tool. I told I'm going to need you to stop right there. <laughs> I'm, still trying, I'm still trying to deal with the tools you gave me before. <laughs> you know, I'm working it all out. <laughs> you know, like, okay, wait. You know um, so we don't want you to feel overwhelmed. And I know it can feel like it's, it's a little like, woo, information overload a little bit. And, and so we're holding space for you to know that you're okay to feel kind of little like, wow, how is this going to happen? And ask those questions, put it in the comments. Um, you know, if you have that question, well, what about this? And what about that? Right. You know, we're going to be creating more opportunities, more classes like that. You know, some will be free. Some is going to be paid. Well, we're going to deep dive into these resources, into these tools and really show you how you can begin to create this content that is so rich that Meta is going to be like, oh, I got to drop a few dual coins on you. Bloop, bloop. Yes, I like that. They'll and, push it out. They'll help you. And they'll push it out for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need Meta to do their job. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I want you guys to get in the habit. If you have a business page that you really are neglecting because you're so focused on your profile, I want you, when you feel the need or you feel like you're not getting attention on that reel, to go over to your business page for hours. Practice that. And that'll change your perspective because then you will find the true purpose behind your business page. Go through Meta Business Suites. Figure that out. Challenge yourself to learn more about the platform. That way you're not just so focused 
on I need views because y'all end up hindering yourself from constantly trying to force it to go. They're not going to pay you for forced interaction. They're only going to pay you for organic reach. That means I have a question for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. So remember you were talking about, you were giving the example about, you know, how you go in arts and styles and you put up the one reel and then you leave it and you kind of go off and do something else and you come back and have like 5.5, you know, views, but you know, maybe one like or two likes and no comments. What does that do for that particular reel? Is that okay that it's like that or do you, or, or is it necessary to have the likes and the comments in order for it to be pushed out? Or is that is that you showing us that Meta actually pushed it out for you? Meta did it for me. I didn't. I didn't share it. I didn't comment on it. I didn't even like it because I shared over from Instagram, and then okay. when I logged back into Facebook, I went from my profile and I was doing approvals in the group, talking to people in the group. I hadn't even logged into that page until that night. Mm -hmm. And I looked and I said, dang, 5.5K views. I didn't even do a thing to it. You know, I've gotten in the habit of doing that uh, also on Welcome to the Nash House because I find myself always trying to push. Stop pushing. Stop pushing and let them do the work. Because the more that you stay away from that page or profile, the more that they're going to try to bring you back to it. And if you stay out of it, then they're gonna push. They're gonna do it for you. We, now what? We need what do, now when you say that you're talking about Meta, right? Correct. So when that happens, and I'm sure some of you guys may have this question, which is why I'm asking these questions so you guys can get clarity. Because if I'm a little like, okay, wait a minute, then I'm sure many of you are like, wait, what? <laughs> um, so, so what happens? when they try to get you to come back what does that look like when you say stay away from it what does that look like as soon as you see a notification don't check it oh don't check your notifications don't go to the post don't do anything just stay out of that page and go over to or stay out of their profile or page go over to another one of your meta uh uh pages and work that for a minute figure out what you can do with it also you know, if you have all that footage, which you should, then you could be uploading that to your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. The more that you are away from it, the more they're going to try to push out notifications to get you to come back. Hmm. And if you don't, if you don't respond to the notifications, they'll continue pushing it out. Correct. When okay. I finally, I think I had at the end of, at the beginning of this year, I did a reel and it was a comedy one on uh, Orson Styles by Dami again. And I legit have forgot to check that page for a week. When I did log into it, I had over 200 and some odd notifications. That one reel had been shared 150 times. It had got up to 10.5K views. It had so many reactions, people talking to each other in the comments because they weren't talking to me. I forgot. Wow. Now, that's that's something for us, you know, content creators to, to hold on to. It does not mean, now listen, I don't get that type of type of viewership with my reels and my views. I'm not there yet. But what I'm learning to do is to not delve in, like Dominique said, and mess with it. So like, I, you know, my reels may get 50 views on it or 56 views on it. Um, I have one that got, you know, 100 views on it. And and I'm, I'm learning to be okay with that. And I'm learning not to freak out. Right, don't freak out. That. In point two, but you also have to remember that Dominique has been doing this a whole lot longer <laughs> than a lot of us have. So her presence has been on this platform in this capacity, guys, as a content creator, a lot longer than we have. So give yourself a break. Don't freak out. Don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at yourself. Don't get mad at me because you're not, you know, well, I'm going to put it up there and I should get those. And I stayed away and I didn't get that kind of views. Listen, it's going to take time, but the consistency is going to be there. And you, when your message is clear, 
right? When you get mm-hmm. a clear understanding of your what and your why, mm-hmm. which is why that's so important. So important. Then it's going to allow you to have those opportunities and, and, and eventually it's going to, you know, push out like that. So I, I want to encourage you all that when you hear her talk about that, that's her page. Now, remember, she's been on this a whole lot longer than a lot of us has, yeah. and she's been trained in it. And so now she's coming back and say, okay, guys, listen. I got these tools. I got these resources. It's like when you go to college and you want to use your college degree information to go make your money. Same thing. Same thing. Same she thing. Went to school and she got us and she's coming back and sharing it with us. So give yourself that space. And, you know, I know we all want to make our money right now, right away. You know, we are a microwave generation. We want it right now, right now. Right now, Um, you have to give yourself time because I'd rather have my stability in length of time and create this legacy than to have this instantaneous and I'm losing it two, three years later. So we have a couple of questions in the chat that I can see. So Angela said... uh, And make sure you don't post a reel to after you get to 100 views. Now, if you read that notification when they send it to you, say, congratulations, you reached 100 views. It tells you you can either watch it again yourself, because that does count when you watch it from beginning Ooh. to end. Ooh. Or you can create another reel to help you. I always choose to just watch my reel again. I might watch it three times. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't really like creating again until it gets to 500. Not unless I'm in, I'm out and about and I'm having fun. And I really don't care about the views. Um, but I did want to share this about uh, Orson Styles by Dami. Uh, that page is eight years old. Uh, what I did with that page, really what we all should be doing, uh, especially if you have a link tree, if you're selling products, if you're selling services, the money that they send to you from Meta once a month, you're supposed to be running ads to promote your products or your service. Not your reels, but something that will take a person to a website of yours. Like let's say if you have shirts, that money is to help you reinvest into your brand. It's not- I want you to repeat that again. Oh, okay, sure, no problem. That money is meant for you to reinvest into your brand by boosting actually b-o-o-s-t through ads manager do you hear that guys it's about reinvesting into your business by doing those ads and boosting those posts now let me ask you this dominique when they do that what about the buttons you know how they say you can add a button to it Mm -hmm. what if you don't have a website what can you do to, to kind of still give that that organic flow and, and show that you're investing in your business? That's where WhatsApp comes into. Uh, WhatsApp is a great tool to connect with so many different people. Let's say y'all love to do this. Y'all love to copy that link from y'all real and share it on Facebook that quickly gets you shadow banned. That's not what this you can You can send that link to a person who commented on your ad and it's like okay i want to know more about you you can send them that real link in whatsapp no problem it'll go directly to the real that counts as a view for you but i mean there has to be something that you are building on this platform in order for you to maximize what you're doing if you don't have a youtube channel if you don't have any type of shop uh with etsy or shopify I mean, there's so many tools out there to help us reinvent ourselves as entrepreneurs. You have to dig for it. You cannot get lazy and just want to create reels all day because they're they're going to stop you. They're stopping people from earning. I want everybody to hear that. They are taking bonuses because nobody is using the system properly. This system was created to help 
small businesses or entrepreneurs who want to take off and build a business. It was not created for you to just sit at home and create reels all day. So what about doing like a landing page or something like that? Would that be okay? I think that would be fine uh, just to have, and, and remember they have different websites like with Winx that you can just set up as a way for people to know who you are. Right. You know, you can, you can use that as your website. I've done articles with uh, uh, Vonage St. Louis twice. Uh, they are a viable website. If you search me on Google, my articles are going to pop up. So I might just want to head and go ahead and boost that just so people can know more about me. Okay. How are you exposing yourself other than just going in groups and saying, you follow me, I follow you. How, okay. how are you getting your name out there? Because I have MailChimp and I'm just going to share this with me. I have MailChimp and I don't have a web. I do have a website, but it's, it needs a lot of work to it. So I haven't been using my website um, until I can get the kind of resources to, to get it fixed. Like I needed to get it fixed, mm -hmm. but I do have MailChimp. So what I, what I'm getting ready to do and you tell me this is really good. And maybe guys, if you know, you're, you know, you're trying to figure the same question out that I have, and I legit have this question. Um, can I put, create my landing page in MailChimp and then use that link to like, I don't know, like if I would just want to share who I am, Hey, learn more about Nicole and, you know, for, for more information or to book me for a retreat or to facilitate a workshop, you know, click this or, or you know, register here and stuff like that. It w is that considered a viable type of link that I can use mm -hmm. um, and Meta will recognize that as such? You know what I mean? Yes. And you can also boost events. If you don't really have a website, but you want people to be in tune with whatever it is that you do. Let's say you're an up and coming yoga instructor. You don't have a website yet but you have your digital content creator page, not your profile, but your page. Mm -hmm. uh, you can schedule an online event. You can then boost said online event. You can also, also share it to Instagram in your stories and put the link in there. When you boost products on Meta, you not only are boosting on Facebook, but you're also boosting on Instagram. So they're interchangeable. You only pay one flat rate, depending on how you set things up and it will do the work for you. Now, what happens? Let's talk about that. What happens after you boost? Okay. It allowed you a different set of eyes. So if you use the money that you are earning from your reels and you boost and a paid online event or a free event, you boost going to like your YouTube channel, you boost if you have a website set up to order products and services, you boost what she just said about wink chip. What, I hope I said that right, but mail chip, mail mail chip. chip. Mm -hmm. if you boost, you're putting in a bid for them to get guarantee you not I might or somebody might No, they're guaranteeing you that you're going to have the proper set of eyes of people that they know will actually patronize you. That's exactly what we're supposed to do with the funds that we receive from monetization. Yeah, it's a cycle of capital that you didn't have before to start your business, but they're giving you capital by you working, right? But you also have to do something with that capital. If it's just a one side exchange where you're just trying to rake in all the money, your money gonna go like this because you're not doing anything with your entrepreneurship. You're not doing anything with your platform. You're not building anything. You're just trying to milk the system. And they're not going to allow you to do that. That's it. Oh, that makes sense. It really makes sense. And what I love about being able to do that is that, you know, I know people look at it and think, you know, well, I just want to be able to use that money and go buy something and go do this and that other thing. But what I like about this 
is that as I'm making this money, I don't have to take money out of my pocket in order to keep making money. I'm going to let the money that I make, make help me make more money. Let it bring it in. Let it bring it in because the whole purpose, really, the whole purpose of it was to back entrepreneurs. We went through a whole pandemic where people could not go to work. All they could do was stay at home because we was on lockdown. This system was set up because people were getting to doing TikToks, right? But I don't know about y'all. I was offered a job with TikTok first. It is very hard to earn. I spent six months working real hard and I made ding, 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 six dollars and seven cents. Oh, that's a dollar a month, you guys. A dollar a month. Okay. So this system was created to allow creators to really invest in themselves. Be an entrepreneur. This is an entrepreneurship program, whether you like to admit it or not. Yeah. But. Yeah. I even boosted this event. There's people watching this event that are not following me on purpose because yeah. I use my payout to spend $6. That's how much I spent. I spent $6 to guarantee me that they would send this out to 2.7K people. Yeah. And I got my bid and it's been going around. And how do you know when it's going around? You'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see the ad yourself when you're scrolling and it'll say sponsored mm -hmm. and it'll have your event or your website or whatever it is on there. It is so unique and it does the work for you. So you don't get shadow banned. So you don't get restricted. So things like that reprimanding you don't happen. They have these tools set in place for you, but you have to use them. That's all. Yeah, and I love that, guys. You know, what is so important to understand and this takeaway from all of this is the fact that, you know, we're realizing that there is, we are, again, we are CEOs and we're entrepreneurs. And when you're stepping into Meta, you're coming into your office. You are coming into your corporate headquarters. Oh, I like that. You are sitting in the CEO chair and when you're normally trying to get to them, you got to go through four or five layers of individuals. You are the boss. You are <laughs> the H-N-I-C-A-E-D-N-Y. Okay? Um, so okay. It's, it's taking on that thought process and that mindset and take on that energy. So, you know, tomorrow when you put in all of this information together and you're trying to figure out your new game plan and your new business strategy, as you're beginning this new year, before you get into the summer, you got, you know, you have all of these nice, cool tools and information now that you can begin to make some small tweaks in your pro in your business page, and you know, and with your profile and understanding the dynamics of the two. And this is what I love about Dominique, and I love the fact that she's so willing to be open and share this information. Because I'm gonna tell you what, guys, you know, most people out here. They don't send us half of this, and they're charging you like twenty five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars for not even half of this stuff. And she's doing it for free. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have taken up. Uh, we went over our hour. I'm glad. That means that we, we, we always do this. Don't we always do it. We always do it. We always do it. I want you guys, if you have any final questions, to go ahead and ask them. I did see one uh, from my cousin. She said, I posted a reel that had over 9K views, and now I'm getting close to 1,000 views. It's a drastic uh, decline. Could it be because it, I took a break from posting and I have to build up my momentum again? I wouldn't say yes. Um, it really just depends on... Um, okay. So I'm about to get into a technical side. And it's, if I go too far, Nicole, just say, oh, I'm a and I'll come back. back. Okay. So <laughs> you got to remember when you first, when they first recognize that you're trying to use their system, they push out your content because they want to get you hired. That doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way because you there's eligibility requirements. You have to have five reels within the past current 30 days that get over a total of 100k views 
in order to receive the invitation, right? But then after that, once you're hired, all of us have different bonuses. There's a $500 bonus, there's a $1,200 bonus, and there's my favorite, the $35,000 bonus. When you're on the $500 bonus, you are able to get 9,000 views. You're able to get 5,000 views easily because they're not paying you as much for the views that you get. You get like 20 cent per thousand view, right? Once you move up and you get on the higher tiers, like the $1,200 bonus or the $35,000 bonus, you're it's harder for you to reach a thousand because guess what? That means that they will actually have to pay you that every month. So they want you to really build up a following. They are teasing the people with your content. So that's why you might see more views in, in that one WAP. But then once you are making reels on the regular, if those same people don't check the notifications, then they know that they didn't find you your real supporters. So that's why we all end up seeing like a decline when it comes to views. It also might have something to do with are you using are you using stories? Are you typing up posts? Are you boosting with the money that they are investing with you in? Are you building a brand or are you just trying to earn a quick buck? All of that is a deciding factor on your viewership. Uh, unfortunately, it is. Okay. Any other questions we have? Let me see. Angela said, did you just say send the link from the reel to the person who texts you on WhatsApp? Yes. If you have WhatsApp for business and you're running an ad about a product or service that you offer. For example, Angela, I know you personally because I coach you. So she has a fitness page. If you set up WhatsApp to advertise that you do fitness, let's say you set it up to um, let people know that you're going to be live and they can go ahead and purchase products that you have a partnership with and you run a boost to let them know that you're going to be live at 6.30 a.m every day, right? If they message you on WhatsApp because of that ad and they say, I want to know more about what you do, you can send them the link from the reel because it's a private chat. Uh, you can send them the reel from the link and say, hey, here is uh, a preview of how we do class and this is what we normally would do in a routine. This is just a highlight. They watch it now. That gives the opportunity for them to connect with you. That gives the opportunity for them to know more about your business page. Um, so they'll go from being a follower to becoming a supporter using WhatsApp like that. Correct. That's okay. correct. That's correct. That's that's the whole point. Angela also said, when you go live, can we use Google Meets for Facebook? No. Google Meet would only allow you to connect to a YouTube live stream. Did we have any more questions, guys? Because we've been on here taking up enough of y'all time. I know we pretty because we got real cute. Okay. <laughs> we sure did. And I want to thank you guys for sticking with us. Thank you for for supporting us in this in this venue and know that this information is just the beginning. And we're gonna have so much more classes, more podcasts like this. Um, Dominique is great, and her and I are working really hard to create this this course and this workshop where we're going to really deep dive into the all these questions you have about these reels about the seven tools that you need we're really going to get a course together we're going to do a deep dive in it and mm -hmm. one lucky person is probably going to get a view of their of, of their reels and plays and things like that and their analytics so that you can really see how this works um in a more intimate setting and so if you're interested in something like that, we again, would you let us know in the comments um, that you are, and we're going to begin to set that up. Um, and I'm so excited. And I'm so thankful that you all got, that you guys came here. As you can see, there's a lot to learn about this new thing called Meta. Facebook is not the Facebook that we first joined. It's it has so totally changed. Mm -hmm. And so we have to change with it in order to be monetized by it. And in order for you to actually solidify and grow in your business, 
we cannot have the mindset that this is not a business anymore. You guys are all entrepreneurs, whether you want to admit it or not. This is your opportunity to grow. Do it. Yeah, have fun and 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 stay stay engaged in the group. Continue to ask questions. You know, we love this and we are absolutely answering them as best we can and as often as we can. And uh, and if we have enough of certain questions, we'll create another podcast. We'll know how what you all need and what you desire to know. Right. Um and that welcome. part. That part. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. I'm excited for you all. Thank you. Now that you know what meta is, how many of y'all, I just want to know before we get off here, how many of y'all got WhatsApp? Oh, I'm going to put my head down. <laughs> oh, dear, Miss Ealy. Oh, oh dear. look, Miss Nicole ain't oh, even got WhatsApp. I got to get hers together. I doesn't have WhatsApp. So huh. I'm going to have to get WhatsApp. <laughs> so honestly, when you have a business page, you need the Holy Trinity in order for your page to be solidified as a viable recommended page, whatever it is that you do. I didn't hit the microphone. Whatever it is that you do on your page in order for them to uh, push it out and solidify that this page is legit, you need WhatsApp. You need an Instagram for that page and you need a WhatsApp for that page. And if you follow everything that I do, you know that I have Orson Styles by Dobby Facebook page and it has its own Instagram. And yeah, it got its own WhatsApp. They're interchangeable. So if you have multiple pages like me, you can link them all together. Okay. Same thing with Gaming at the Nash House. It has its own Instagram. It has its own Facebook page. And it's connected to the WhatsApp. Welcome to the Nash House. Own Facebook page. Own Instagram page. And it's connected to the WhatsApp. It's all supposed to be there in order for them to know, okay, this person is serious about their business. We're going to make sure that they get seen. That is the purpose. So okay. you don't have WhatsApp. I want out. This is your challenge. This is your assignment. Should you accept it? And you will, 007s. I want you all, if you don't have WhatsApp, including myself, is to download it, create your page, and then share a screenshot of it in the link. I mean in, in the comment section. Um, either on the how to become a content creator page on the arts and styles by Dami page, whatever page you're seeing this live on. I want you to go into that page and screenshot your WhatsApp, new WhatsApp account. I'm going to be the first to do it as soon as I get off of here. I promise. <laughs> now, WhatsApp is a little bit, um, it's going to take you some time. So if you get frustrated, take a break, breathe, try again, because there is a lot of tools to use on WhatsApp. You will have to let people know not to contact you for anything besides business this is your business let's just put it this way this your house are you gonna let random people call you with uh ping pings on the screen in your house no that's why you can't be afraid to use messenger either we need all of these tools in order for us to to be on top of the algorithm be on top of the algorithm i'm gonna say it one more time be on top of the algorithm. Be we all need to be algorithm. on top of the algorithm. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> but, but what we're going to do, guys, is, is you know what? I believe that that's going to be a really good um, in-depth workshop that we're going to create. The seven tools of meta that every entrepreneur needs. And we're going to talk about those in depth. So stay tuned for that workshop coming up. It will be a paid workshop because as you can see, this information is like, woo. It's a lot. It's, so, it's a lot, but it's so meaty and it's so weighty, but more importantly, it is so necessary. We can't keep saying we want to be meta millionaires, but we won't use the tools and the resources that we need in order to do that. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming up very soon. We're going to, uh, Dominique and I are going to talk about it. We're going to schedule it. We're going to put a filler out there for you all. And we want you all to interact and respond to us and let us know, you know if you're ready and interested in that type of workshop. So we're going to go deep down. We're going to talk about 
how to set it up, what it looks like, why, how to make it all engaged, how to use the tools, the reels, the lives, the long posts, the short posts, the videos, this, that, the pictures, all of this stuff. All of that stuff. Yeah, it's going to be important. That's going to be a pretty intense class. I cannot wait. Dominic, I cannot wait for this class. I'm you hear me? Class. I'm excited too. And I can't wait to teach them how to really read their analytics. A Listen. lot of a lot of people, I do it in reels, but reels are short form. So it's hard for me to really dive into you. And plus it's my stuff. I don't, I don't be wanting y'all looking at my stuff. I want to look at your stuff. I'll just blame you. That part. <laughs> because you know what? People will get intimidated when they look at your stuff because it's so much and it's so powerful and it's so impactful. And a lot of us don't have that. So yeah, it's to look at ours to see, okay, this is where you are and this is what you can do to get better results. So let's get ready, guys, for that class. It is coming up. We promise. Uh, just give us a little time. Uh, so we can organize it. We got to organize stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah we we got to organize it. stuff. Thank you so much again, Nicole, uh, for being here. I really do appreciate it. Y'all show her some love. Her page is Crystal, comma, Diamonds and Pearls. Diamonds and Pearls. Okay. I'm your host, Dominique Nash. Look, look, I'm your host, Dominique Nash on Arts and Styles by Dominique. Welcome to the Nash House, Gaming at the Nash House, everything Nash. Okay. Everything Nash. Peace. Listen. Okay, so I put put my...